I'm getting heat wrap put on the exhaust for Wago to help, help keep uh, heat off this oil return line right here and the intercooler piping right here because the exhaust pipe gets really close to both of these. So I've been meaning to do this for a while now, but I'm just now getting to it because we're getting ready to take the car out tonight again just to go cruise and do whatever. All right, got that all wrapped up. I'm just going to cut this excess off right here. All right. That's it. Looks good. Shouldn't now I won't burn my oil return line anymore and we'll make this piece of intercooler piping hot as shit cuz it used to get really hot. So under wago right now, something else I forgot to do was put this last drive shaft bolt in right there. It fell out on me a while ago. I never put it back in, so go ahead and going to slap that back in real quick. See what you got. Oh, you trash. I saw that foot. Oh, you're so bad. Mitch, how does it feel to be a failure? A failure? Rail's a little sticky. Nothing some duplicate or clear coat won't fix. Yeah, I welded my fork together last night and it's been holding up for a while, but I think it's about to snap. It's all fucking crooked. Try and break it. Calling out Tanner Fox. Triple it flat. <laughs> and there goes my weld job. <laughs> Cleaning out Wago right now. I got a whole bunch of random shit in here that I never cleaned out. So, I'm gonna do that first before we go anywhere. Wago is messy. Almost filled up like two bins of just random crap that's been in there for at least a month. Still needs a good vacuuming and. I need to put the Honda back in its original location, back in the stock location, get that out of the way. It's all good now. Gonna take it to the car wash real quick and wash off the outside too, because it needs a good scrubbing. <laughs> okay, we got more electrical tape for the car. We're just now getting ready to take the Wago out. I got dark out. And we just checked the mail. And Charlie's boots came in to finish his up. We got the one for here, the one that go right there. This one we got on already. And this one up here, what I actually had to do. We thought we had an adapter that would go from this 2.25 to like two and a half or whatever for the throttle body, but I just pull it out real quick. We did not have the adapter, so all I did was let me get this off. There we go. I just put a piece of two and a half inch intercooler piping over the two and a quarter, and then I just welded it on like that. So that made this part thicker. And so then this just goes over there like that. So yeah, we'll have this one make him boost hopefully, maybe this weekend as long as there's no problems, because that's really what we've been waiting on is just the 
boots to come in, so stay tuned for that one. But like I said, right now we're just gonna go take Wago out real quick. Rookie shifted, bud. <laughs> Like a V8, boys. That's the red one? Yeah. Yeah. No fucking way. It's all wheel drive, too. Whose car is this? I'm driving it. That's yours? Yeah. Yeah, damn, that's sick. This thing makes 700 all wheel. Fuck, no, are you serious? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? That shit's sick, dude. We got B Series tranny out of a CRX or CRV. Where do you get all these sports, bro? Junkyards. Well, we got this kid to race us tonight. This. He actually thought my car made like 700 all wheel. But hey, we'll see how Wago does against an H22 Prelude. Stock H. Get on the passenger side. Oh, my God. 